Hi guys, welcome to the new video about the different to a, from a violent confrontation and a fight in the ring. Okay, in the last video I have uh, we have uh, I have talked about uh, the space. What you have in the ring is uh, the only the ring is the space there you can fight and not outside the ring but i do but on a in a, on a a violent confrontation can be everywhere okay at your home at in the clubs or some uh, somewhere there are a lot of people or somewhere on the street everywhere can be okay and yeah and now in this uh, video we will talk about uh, what uh, what is also more what is also possible in a violent confrontation and this is uh, one thing in the ring you you fight only with the hands with the bar hands and with uh, legs or with the rules or you you can use only the strikes or, or or the punches or kicks they are allowed in this sport and that's it yeah in the end i just uh, have told you in the other videos about the punches they are no they are not allowed in the ring you can look this and now in this video it gives also um, the different. I will, I will t tell you what is also possible. Okay, in the ring you not have any weapons, and in the ring is the fight also not uh, to the death, or the yeah. Okay, maybe yes, you can. You can have a very big injury. In the ring, yeah, but uh, it's not to the death, yeah. And uh, also, what can be on the in a violent confrontation is that uh, your attacker have a weapon. Yeah, maybe he he take a baseball bat or uh, or a knife or other objects that uh, that he can use as a weapon okay and uh, this is uh, also no a uh, different especially when you are in a club in a club or in a bar you can use a bottle as a weapon or uh, other objects uh, a chair or this chair from from the bar you know this or other uh, objects and also and also you can uh, when you fall there on the ground it can be painful but this was in the last video about the about the space or or the places yeah yeah and also it's not uh, it's not a good idea on the in a violent confrontation make a fight uh, i would say that <clears throat> One to one or uh, man against man. It's not. It's not a good idea. Because uh, your attacker, when he see that he has not not a shared chance against you, he can use. He can use uh, an object or a knife if he has, and can uh, make you injure or kill you with this, or also. Maybe he has uh, f he has uh, friends there. The, they come uh, to help him, and uh, yes, and, and when you have three or four at attackers, it's also not very good. Then it's the best. Then you can run away, normal. Yeah. This and also what is not uh, a good idea. Um, is on the ground make a fight. I know you see in in the UFC or in the MMA, 
you see uh, a lot fights there on the ground but on the street it is not a good idea because uh, when uh, when you are with, uh, with your opponent on the ground and uh, especially when when he is in the full mount position on you and he can hit you boom boom and maybe his friends come and they kick you to the to the head and so um, yeah and also maybe your opponent has a knife and he can take out the knife and stab you and also when you are in the full mount position on your uh, on your attacker he can also maybe take out the knife and stab you or his friends comes and kick you to the head or or uh, uh, grab you and pull away or or hit you directly you see um Brazilian, this Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is uh, for the street not a good idea. On the street, you must look every time that you that you stand, that you never come on the ground. Okay, and when when you you come on the ground, it can also be possible because you because you cannot uh, choose how will be the fight. Yeah. Then you must look when you are on the ground. You must look that you stand up so quickly as possible. Okay, the reasons I just have to say to you why. Yeah, yeah, and uh, what is also and also you you must look in the, in a violent confrontation that the fight and so quickly as possible yeah how I just say it's not a good idea uh, fight man against man it's this is a dumb idea on the street okay normal you also must uh, train that you're good with bar hands normal but in a violent confrontation use this every time as the last yes when you when you have Especially when you have more attacker, take something, a knife or, or another weapon or, or other objects, yes, but may I never fight man against man, this is stupid in a, in a violent confrontation, because the most people when, uh, when they search uh, or want a fight with you, they have only the bolts when uh, when uh, when they have near from him friends they they can yeah you, you know when they feel uh, feel it's uh, sure that his friends come to help him okay but uh, the the most people have not the bolts make a fight one against one only when they now they have uh, in the near friends they can call they they come to help them okay that that's the reason why is this very fucking stupid in a violent confrontation make a fight man man against man yeah it's better use something an object hit him with this or if you have a knife stab him or with a pen, stab him in the face, all this. Because when somebody wants to fight with you, you don't know, uh, you don't know this guy. Okay, in a ring, you know when you have a fight and you can prepare you for the fight a lot, weeks or months, I don't know. Yes, and you can also look the videos of your opponent, how he fight, what you can uh, use. But on the street, you're not. Uh, this is not possible, especially when you don't know this guy. You don't know what uh, if he's crazy, if he's a psycho, if when he start a fight with you, if he. If he make you a very hard injury or if he kill you, you, you don't know that. Okay? Especially in the clubs and the people are drunk or under drugs. You don't know what he...